Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. We've had some beautiful weather this past week and I have loved hearing all the birds and seeing all the flowers blossom because I love flowers. And I know that comes from my dad. My dad has been known to make anything grow. He can even take neglected plants and pretty much bring them back from the dead. He's like a plant miracle worker. And one of my favorite things that he grew when we were growing up was a big line of peony bushes in our backyard. And I love to see those peonies open up because their blooms were so big and they were bright colors. And now I get to share that love of growing things with my own two kiddos. And we have our own peony bush in our yard to tend to and love. In fact, over the last month, we have been eagerly anticipating seeing those big knobby buds bloom and reveal the beautiful flowers inside. And we check daily, sometimes for Audra multiple times a day, to see if they have popped open when we weren't looking. And every time we check for the flowers, we also check for something else. We check for ants. Now, I remember the first time I ever saw some big black ants crawling on our peonies in our yard at home growing up. I ran into the garage and I told my dad that they were on there. I was so worried that they would hurt our beautiful bushes and kill those flowers. And I will never forget how he explained to me that the peonies need the ants. You see, God in his amazing creativity created a peony to produce this sweet sticky sap that covers their buds and attracts the ants to come over for some dessert. And as the ants chow down, the peonies slowly stretch out their petals and reveal these big, beautiful blossoms. And so the ants do the work to set the flowers free. Now, I've heard that peonies will still open without ants, but that the blooms are not nearly as big and beautiful. And isn't that interesting? That what we might see as detrimental to the plant is actually God's design for its ultimate growth and greatest beauty. Hmm, interesting, huh? After considering this process for a while, I've concluded it always reminds me of two things. First is that beautiful things take time. You know, each day when we check on all of our sweet flowers, I'm reminded that this is true. That when God works in us and in all of creation, he's never in a hurry. I recenter and refocus my life often with Ecclesiastes 3.11. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He takes time with every detail. He plans out every beautiful brushstroke in the masterpiece that he's creating in us. And that careful planning reminds me of the second thing. Oftentimes, the things that God uses to bring forth the greatest growth and blossoming in us are not the things that we would expect. Something that might appear to be an enemy of growth, like ants on a peony, might actually be the very thing needed to reveal the fullest beauty and greatest life. There's a poem called The Weaving by Corrie Ten Boom that I think illustrates this truth so well. She writes, my life is but a weaving between my God and me. I cannot choose the colors, he weaveth steadily. Oft times he weaveth sorrow and I in foolish pride forget he sees the upper and I the underside. Not till the loom is silent and the shuttles cease to fly will God unroll the canvas and reveal the reason why. The dark threads are as needful in the weaver's skillful hand as the threads of gold and silver in the pattern he has planned. He knows, he loves, he cares. Nothing this truth can dim. He gives the very best to those who leave the choice to him. You know, God takes great care in the growth he desires for us and we can rest in the knowledge that he desires the very best. He knows the end of the story. He sees the beautiful blossoms before the seed has even sprouted from the ground. And someday we're gonna be able to look back with eternal eyes and see the reality of each part of God's plan. But for now, today, let's ask God to help us trust in him in the process, even when at times it might kind of bug us. See what I did there? <laughs> Ants and bugs, get it? Anyway, today, friends, remember that beautiful things take time. And during that time, God may be using things you don't expect to grow something beautiful in you. I love you so much. Hope you have a wonderful day and see you soon.